All right, hello everybody. It's Zayman one here, and today I'm going to be playing chapters four and five of Silent Age Episode One. I'm going to be finishing this part of the series, um, and so I'm going to be super excited for how this is going to finish. Um, it's going to be huge theatrical finish, or maybe it'll be some small cliffhanger since there's two episodes. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but we're going to play Chapter 4. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, catching up from last episode, there's the volume bar, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Um, catching up from last episode, we crashed out of, like, a window. We, like, broke a window and then put a blanket over it to, um, get it all good and stuff. Broken plate. Huh. There's a thing here. It's totally covered with dust and grime. Okay. Alright, we're getting straight off to it. Um, yeah, we're just jumping right in here. Uh, am I able to get through this hospital front? Oh, do I have to press the button and then it opens? Nice! <clears throat> Alright. But, um... Alright, so we're... Bottle of turpentine. Corrosive and flammable. This should come in handy. I probably shouldn't run off with the whole bottle, though. The painter will notice and alert the officer. Okay, what are they talking about? I'm just close. I guess he's the painter. It's a police officer. I can make out a few words every time he raises his voice. He's clearly looking for someone. Citywide search. That sounds bad. This is bad. This is real bad. I better avoid the main entrance altogether. Using the device all the time is making me sort of disoriented. But one thing I know for sure is that I need to stay away from the cops at this point. So please, okay. Shrugging a lot and shaking his head, but I can't really make out what he's saying. From his clothes, I get... Okay. Alright. Anything over here? It's locked. What about now? Okay. Hello there, corpse. There's a lighter wedge. Okay. Wedged between his ribs. That's that's great. Lighter with hornet's nest. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's great. That's really helpful. Okay. Can I light this up? Great idea if I want to get caught or shot. Joint. Water-based paint. I'd be wasting my time. Okay, what am I doing here? What is there to finish? Or to do? Is there anything? Oh, meat hook. Okay. No. Can I pick up the bone? No. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yep. There we go. All right. Um. Can I, uh, meat hook with a bottle of turpentine? Not sure what good that would do. Paint. <clears throat> Too big to fit in my pants. Also, what would I need that for? Maybe desperate and on the run, Joe, but you're not a murderer. Okay, fine. Fine. Can I use it on the lock? Okay, well now, can I do it since too thin to pry open the lock, it'll just bend or my arms will snap. Either way, I'm going to make a lot of noise. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. Meat hook with thing. <clears throat> Way too heavy. Not a bad idea, though. The hook might be useful for something a little less heavy. Okay. What's a little less heavy that I need to... What do I need to do here? Wait, can I... Light her with dust? Meat hook with dust. Okay, and then 
I can use the broom to do the thing, to get the thing, and then I can use this to lift the cover. And I can go down here and get the stuff. It says, walk to bar. It's a loose rung from the ladder, I'm taking it with me. If anything survived in this world, it'll be hungry now, by now, and I need something to defend myself. So I'm gonna have to stick through this. Gotta be a better way though. Okay. So what do I do with this? Yes, the old beating up a random stranger with a steel pipe routine always startles armed police officers. <clears throat> yes, we call that plan D. No bang. The police officer right at the entrance. They don't really need to be making a kind of noise. Well, now there's not a police officer. <laughs> Got it. Lock the broke. I. The lock broke. It locked the broke. Bone saw with this. Probably could, but who knows what's down there. If I jump in, I could end up being carried out by sea. Carried out to sea by the sewage undercurrent. Undercurrent. Oh, gross. Okay, and then go like this, and then go down to the manhill, because I think, I think, I can use this on the iron bar. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> I'm a genius, guys. Jonas. Brain size 10 billion. Paramedics must have dropped it down the drain. Okay. any like hints about the hornet's nest thing no crazy allergic to bees but they're hornets I need to get rid of those things I wish there was something to set fire to but our bees are afraid of fire right they're not bees but it's fine yeah okay so get okay, that <clears throat> Dum da da dum 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 da dum dum. Nothing suspicious here. You syringe now. No. No, I'm not gonna jab an armed police officer with an arm with a syringe full of turpentine. Can I just stick it into the horn's nest? I wouldn't know how. Yeah, you would. Freaking dolt. With drain. Can't really aim that well from up here. Okay. What am I doing with this then? Put this in the can of paint. Can I interact with this? What freaking way? You just keep on spinning, don't you? I can't get it to work. The fan would blow out the flame if I ever managed to get one, and why would I try to set fire to it in the first place? I don't freaking know, dude. Forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Thank you, Ian. Tree. With overgrown area. Syringe won't do me any good here, besides, the gate is already on. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do then. Editor me, this is gonna take some time, I can tell, so just go ahead and fast forward for now. Oh, 
do I have to put the... Do I have to put turpentine on that? And then I can light it! Whoa. Oh! Okay. Got it. Do that. Okay! Finally! That took way too long. I've been here for a while, people. How have I never thought to do this before? Alright, let's head on inside. Alright, we're on to chapter 5. We're gonna keep on moving ahead because we're doing both so that we can finish this series off. And to make up for the fact that I was supposed to be doing daily uploads for this series since it was so short, and didn't. Guess I can sit here making engine noises with my mouth while imagining I'm going somewhere really fast. <laughs> Tank sounds full, I just need to reattach that wheel before the mechanic comes back. Walk to button. Walk to garage door. Won't get far on foot, getting here was hard enough and that was barely a block and a half. Ouch! Just a little juice in this battery, put it in here. I think the battery's good, it won't do much good in a three-wheeled car though, okay. It's locked. Well, lock no more. It is no longer locked, my inquisitive fellow. Wait, there's a thing. Tire iron. What? How is it locked in the future, but unlocked in the past? What sense? does that make? E, another E, another E, 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 it's an E. E, 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 E. They should really mix up the letters, it's way too easy. It's today's May, date, Monday, May 17th. Okay. Hey. Bingo, these are patient files, and of course, the cabinet's locked. I bet it won't be locked when I go to the gaping hole in the floor. <clears throat> Aha! Since it fell through, scissors. Ow! Still remarkably sharp. Oh! Hi, buddy! How you doing? He's dead. It was a long shot, but I kind of hoped he had somehow survived. There's only one way to get answers now, I guess. I need to find out where he lives. Well, lived name tag. <laughs> Reginald Lambert. No address. They probably don't put stuff like that. It has a file number too. If I can find this guy's medical file, I should be able to get his address. Okay. It's locked from the outside. I don't want to get, I don't want to think about why that's necessary. Oh. Yeah, that's probably not the best. To x -ray board. It's the insides of some guy, obviously, but I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Just realized there's a person in this room. Seems very focused on what he's... Whatever it is he's busy with. Jeez, I can't read, people. I don't know how to read any of it. It's all written in doctor's handwriting. It's very messy most of the time. There's a key in here. Pick it up, then. All right, um, so I gotta use the tire iron, probably, to get the tire. Oh, it's locked, right. To go to the future, go to the past. Use tire iron with tire. <laughs> Fixed it. Oh, right, yeah, I gotta figure out where he lives. Gosh dang it, just unlock the door. Alright. Let's go to Office B then. Wait.
What? Oh, I gotta go up here. And I gotta go to A. That's where I wanted to be. When I'm in the past. To get the file cabinet. A. Bam. I'm afraid it's a car key. Ow! That battery has some kick. Okay. Walk to desk. Scissors mm. with desk. No. To be used for lock picking. Okay, bam. And then go down on the floor. Skeleton. Nothing but a pile of bones and strips of clothing. Really, I can't even see that this is a file cabinet. Walk to lamp. It's just a wall lamp. Must be a better way to use this battery. Okay. What's the better way to do so? Oh, do I have to put it to the wires? Wow. Wow. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Small key. So key, maybe it's for a padlock or locker up sometime. So freaky, one minute alive, and the next he's a pile of bones. So he died right where he was standing. Spooky. Okay. So actually, we need to go here. Ah, yawn. So we need to go here. Go to the past. Run through here. Glad this guy doesn't notice that I'm repeatedly zapping in and out of existence. Okay, so it's probably the key for the file cabinet, right? Perfect fit, it's open now. The patient file's all right. Too bad they all have file numbers and not names. I need the right number to find his file. Yeah, freaking... You literally just looked at his file number a second ago. Editor Isaiah, put that on screen. Thank you, Editor Isaiah. Name tag. file number on the tag is quite long, I should bring it with me. So I gotta use the scissors to cut off the tag. Okay. Okay, alright. Use toe tag with file cabinet. Move faster, Joe. Come nice. on, hustle. Jackpot, Lambert's medical file. It has an address. One Insula Grove, Lake Churchton. It's pretty far out of town, I'll need a ride. Luckily for you, Joe. You have one. I think this might be the end. All right. I feel really bad taking this, but it's my only chance. I need to find where the car keys are first. Did I do it? A cutscene! Here, out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Dang. Maybe these will be my last days. Along with everybody else's. Ugh. The thought ties my stomach in knots. No. 
I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? God, I hope I brought enough gas. Dang. Oh, there it is, everyone. And that is it for The Silent Age, Episode 1. I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough. I shall purchase the second episode soon. But until then, I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!